Right now, child labor laws are back up for debate as Iowa clashes with the federal government. Jackson Villanty has more on how this century-old debate is no longer a settled matter. We really can't characterize this as anything other than a crisis. Jen Shear works for the Economic Policy Institute. She says child labor laws enacted last year in Iowa are violating the 1938 Fair Labor Standards Act. Those provisions that were included in the 2023 Iowa law are in direct conflict with federal law. Iowa's new labor laws have allowed children ages 14 to 15 to work as late as 9 p.m. during the school year and as late as 11 p.m. in the summertime. But federal labor law says they can't work past 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. respectively. Businesses that have followed the new state law are getting fined for violating federal rules. The owner of Sugar Peach Restaurant in North Liberty says he's facing a $65,000 federal fine. Shear says the situation was made worse because businesses aren't sure if they need to follow federal or state law. For months, businesses have gotten misinformation about what standards they were supposed to follow. Meanwhile, Governor Kim Reynolds made a statement on July 1st calling federal child labor law enforcement, quote, excessive. But Democratic State Representative Sammy Sheets says the law is already putting children in dangerous jobs. And he used the allegations of a child working at the Banjo Block construction project last August as an example. The vast majority of the blame should be on Iowa Republicans and the Restaurant Association, who clearly understood the implications of the law. Shear says the ultimate goal of the meeting is to repeal last year's child labor law, so Iowa falls in line with federal regulation. 14 states have passed new child labor laws since 2022.